Hello friends, welcome back to the Kurabati Mind. This is Abhinav and today we are going to see a working model based on Arduino which we call the Waste Segregator. So this model I made along with my sister for her final year BTEC in Electrical Engineering and I am going to show the demo working, coding and modeling of this project in this video. So let's go on to the demo first. The model shown here can classify the waste into three categories that are magnetic, dry and wet waste. First of all, we have this magnetic waste getting separated from the conveyor belt. Next we have this lemon piece which would act as a wet waste and would get separated into one half of the dustbin placed at the end. So I will show the working at the end. And at last we have this dry waste coming in. So let me make it clear that our project just classifies the three types of waste and then places them in their designated places. If you place all the three types of waste all together on the conveyor belt, it would not be able to separate them. You can see the plastic here getting dropped to the other side of the dustbin. Yeah. Moving on to the working, let's first see the electronic components used here. We have used two SC SR01 ultrasonic sensors, magnets, a standard LCD screen of 16 by 2, a soil moisture sensor, two 12 volt DC motors which are used to rotate the conveyor belt, an Arduino Uno board, and a basic servo motor which is used to rotate the dustbin here. Moving on to the logic behind this model. So, whenever there is no waste on this conveyor belt, all the sensors would remain in the same status and that is zero. Our LCD would show a monitoring status. As soon as we place a waste here and it comes in front of this first sensor, there is a change in the value and we pass the value one. Okay, so now we have to check whether it is a magnetic waste or not. We haven't used any metal proximity sensor here. We have used just a basic magnet and we cannot send electronic signals to our system using a magnet. So we have used a second ultrasonic sensor here. So let's see how it works. When a waste comes in front of this sensor and it moves on to the magnet, if it is a magnetic sensor, it would get attracted toward the magnet and it would never come in front of the second sensor. Okay, so the second sensor would know that the waste came in front of the first sensor but got stuck in some somewhere in the middle. So it should be a magnetic waste. In case it does not get stuck here, it would come in front of this sensor as well. So it would be a non-magnetic waste. So you can see in the uh, truth table as well, when there is a waste in front of the first sensor and it gets stuck by the magnet, there is no change in the ultrasonic sensor too. And uh, so is the soil sensor. So we will show a magnetic waste status. Next, what if it comes in front of this as well? There are two possibilities now. It, either it would be a dry waste or a wet waste. Here comes our soil moisture sensor. So it would detect the moisture of the uh, waste and if the value passed by this sensor is above the threshold value that we have set initially, it would be a wet waste, otherwise a dry waste. You can see in the truth table as well, the waste comes in front of the first sensor, does not get struck by the magnet, comes in front of the second sensor we know it is not a magnetic waste now if the moisture sensor passes a uh, value below the threshold value it is a dry waste and if it is above the threshold value it is a wet waste now how we are separating these two whenever it is a dry waste it would go into the dustbin like that only but if it is a wet waste the servo motor placed behind this dustbin beneath this dustbin would suddenly would uh, immediately turn this by 180 degree and the waste would drop into the other side of the dustbin that is designated for the waste wa wet waste so this is how the working is going on let's move on to the coding to see it uh, on the screen this is the code that we have written on arduino ide so first of all we have included the servo and liquid crystal libraries and then initialized a few variables and functions with respect to our circuit diagram which I would share along with this code in the description. Let's move on to the loop function and we would check out all these functions as they occur in the loop. 
we begin with printing monitoring printer function is a basic lcd printing uh, function which prints out the string as passed to it in the second line for the first line we are printing waste aggregator in the setup function itself now this loop would uh, check for the first obstacle we how are we checking for the first obstacle here is an if still sentence and then a uh, trick pin one and echo pin one that is the two pins of the first sensor are passed to the function obstacle obstacle is basic ultrasonic sensor code uh, which calculates the distance between itself and the obstacle placed in front of it using a pulse and a we will use that direct, uh, duration and the speed of sound to calculate the distance now if that distance is 12 that uh, you can uh, change according to the uh, width of your conveyor belt uh, for our case uh, we have kept it 12 so if the distance passed by the ultrasonic sensor uh, is less than 12 we see that there is an obstacle placed on the belt and we pass a value true otherwise the value is false and uh, as long as this uh, a function is passing a false value there is no obstacle placed on the uh, conveyor belt and the loop goes on and on and the uh, status remains monitoring now as soon as there is an obstacle in front of the first sensor it would be pass a distance less than 12 cm and we would get a true value and that's when we get into the uh, this control statement so here we have used a delay function what is this delay function for this delay is used uh, is the time between uh, that the object would take to go from the first sensor to the second sensor okay so this uh, can be changed according to your length of the length and speed of your conveyor belt for our case we have used 11.5 seconds we calculated this and recorded it and then have used this uh, because there is no code for the magnet uh, it cannot be so this is the second uh, sensor which i uh, i uh, earlier explained in the logic that we are using the second sensor to check whether it came uh, uh from in front of the magnet or not so again we would pass the uh, trick pin 2 and uh, echo pin 2 values this time to the obstacle function to check whether there is an obstacle in front of the second sensor if the value passes true that is the uh, the magnet uh, did not uh, detect any magnetic waste and the uh, waste moved on to the second sensor so we have to check whether it is wet or dry now so we again uh, give a delay here uh, that is the time between the second sensor and the soil sensor and we uh, use a pool here that is wet to check uh, to store the value whether it is wet or not so how are we checking this by the wet sense function the wet sense function uh, let me first explain how the soil moisture works soil moisture sen sensor works it calculates the uh, resistivity of the object and uh, if the object is wet the resistivity would, uh, resistivity would be less and so would the value and if the resistivity is high that is the waste is dry the value passed would be uh, greater so i earlier i think i uh, explained it uh, wrong that is uh, the if the value is less than the limit then it is wet and if it is more than the limit it is dry okay so the limit i have set here is 950 you can see here so if the value passed by 950 that is the resistivity is very high and the uh, object is dry and if the value passed by the analog pin is less than limit the resistivity is low and the object is wet so we would pass a true value otherwise returning false so we have used eight times this loop so that it, it takes time for the sensor to detect whether it is wet or not so in eight loops if it detects uh, uh, the wet value it would break otherwise it would uh, send false after these eight loops so moving back to the loop now we uh, see all the cases and print accordingly now if the obstacle 2 was true that is that um, object did not get stuck in front of the magnet it was non-magnetic and also the wet uh, value that we got back is true then that is we have a wet paste so we would uh, rotate our servo by 180 degree i have used 190 because there is always a lag between the uh, in the position of the servo motor so we have used 190 here and uh, we would uh, pass the string wet waste to the LCD printer uh, function. Now, uh, if the wet waste is false and obstacle 2 is true, that is, it is non magnetic but also not wet. So, it is a dry waste. So, we would uh, rotate the uh, sensor uh, motor, the servo motor to position. Position is, uh, I guess, 0 degrees. So, it would come back to its initial state if it was in wet waste. 
uh, state otherwise uh, it would remain in what state it was and uh, we would uh, dry waste okay so at last we have uh, if uh, the obstacle never came in front of the second sensor uh, uh, during the time uh, these uh, five loops that we checked uh, whether it is coming in front of the second of uh, second sensor or not if it did not never it never came in front of the second sensor uh, it would remain false and we would print the magnetic waste because it got stuck in at the magnet only and it never came in front of the second sensor now this delay is for the time uh, and the statement uh, the type of waste uh, remains uh, printed on the lcd screen after that it uh, again goes back to the loop and uh, we start with the monitoring as soon as we uh, see a monitoring we can now again place our second waste onto the conveyor belt so this is how the code works uh, let's just uh, see quickly see the modeling and end this video So friends, this was all for this video, hope you all liked it and if you did, press on the like button. I also hope that you enjoy working on this project, share with me your experience and don't forget to give the feedbacks in the comment. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video, until then, bye bye. Hello, hello, hello.